I play for Ukraine. Spela för Ukraina. Spel för Ukraina. Spela för Ukraina. Det är så cool, vi vill Ukraina. Nej, det är så Ukraina. Spel för Ukraina. Ja, Ukraina är. Spel för Ukraina. Spel för Ukraina. Spel för Ukraina. Spel för Ukraina. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to Lithuania, the European Ultimate Indoor Championships 2022. At last, after many delays, has been magnificent. And it continues with the Open Final. Finland up against Belgium. As you can see from the very handy graphic, Benjamin Rees with you in the booth. Delighted to be joined by Hannah Pendlebury. Oh, Hannah, I can't believe we're almost at the end, but boy, do we have a treat in store for everyone today. Yeah, it's been a marathon effort for us here at Ulti TV, but I'm having a little sit down after that women's final. That was very spicy indeed. Just to recompose myself and my emotions, because I'm sure they're going to be blown apart by this open final we have for us. It's, it's quite a game we have in prospect. Belgium undefeated on the weekend, dispatching Austria, Slovakia, and then Lithuania in the pools, which is a really strong pool to win with Lithuania in there. Breezed past Poland in the quarterfinals and then a universe point win over Latvia in the semi. Booked their place today. Finland a bit more up and down. Strong pool wins over Turkey and Denmark, but lost in the pool to the Netherlands. What that meant is that they had a, they had a quarterfinal against their old rivals, Sweden. And Finland triumph 17-15 before seeing off Ukraine 17-13 in the semis to find themselves here this afternoon. Yeah, there are some people who have maybe pegged the, that semi-final for the Belgium-Latvian game. Maybe that had a shot at being the best game of, the, of this division. But I don't know. I'm expecting some fantastic things out of these Finnish players to match up as well as the Latvians did against the Belgian players. Of course, we know they're a capable team. They did call out the Swedes as their big opponent, so that 17-15 win must have meant a whole heck of a lot to them. Yeah, you can tell that they will take so much confidence from that, and you saw that in the semi-final against that really sparky Ukraine side. Both sides packed with big names for the Belgians. It starts with the Yonkers brothers, obviously, but it doesn't end there. And for the Finns, well, they had players who finished fourth at Worlds as well in the mixed division. Thinking about players like Sandberg, and Nini playing for Puti in the mixed division, getting a semi-final berth there as well. So some of Europe's all-stars representing on the field, I say field, on the hard-sprung wooden floors here today. Well, Anne Elenamo, over 40 years of age, bringing some serious experience to this Finnish side as well. And those tactical adjustments in these 42 minute long games are really key. If you can do something different, take away your opponents, a game and slow the pace down, you can get yourselves into some really fun positions. 42 minutes is longer than you think. A lot of the games in the open vision have been getting to that 17 point score cap. As Swartz pulls to Finland and we're underway here. Nini, Sandberg, 
Looking downfield with the blade and he's got it for the score. Easy as that for the Finns. Sandberg, to, you mentioned him beforehand, Ellen Amo still rocking it out there at Grand Masters age. 1-0 to Finland. Sandberg, he's just got every throw in his locker. That's nothing for him, the blade. And with no win to contend with, we are expecting to see every single one in the toolkit. And a fantastic way to open it up in very fast fashion for the Finns. Samber is 28th assist of the weekend. Ben Yonkers, Deleis in the backfield. Sophie and Bontomp coming underneath. Looks for the dish with the left hand. Now swings back to Deleis. Yonkers coming underneath. Oh, wow, he really whipped that one. Spapham did well to even get close to it. That did not come out anywhere near like he hoped it would. Well, perhaps coming a little casual into this gold medal match, an error for the first offensive opportunity given to the Belgians. And that could be very costly. Because the Belgians have a lot of youth to snap at the heels of Finland, but if they can hold on. But first, they have to get the break. Nice inside backhand to begin there. Winkvist. Hammer from Hotari. On the money to Patrick Petraikas. Finland break to take a 2-0 lead. They have started maybe inappropriately hot for a Nordic team. <laughs> Perhaps they spent some time in the sauna before coming here. They've had a relatively late start, one o'clock local time just over whereas yeah, some of the games like have started the eight o'clock really starts we've had to, we've had to have earlier in the weekend exactly Benji. i know you how much you've loved those hannah oh totally my brain functions really well in the morning not it's very different gearing yourself up for a whole day of ultimate than it is for to lock in for one single game ben to his brother ref yonkers zinged to bonton Taking the reset, air underneath it, and Ref Yonkers skies for the score. Nothing Oscar Ivorio could do. It's 2 1. Well, you can't really say fairer than that. Ivorio a little bit shorter than Yonkers, and of course, we've seen Ref collect so many of those high blady discs. This is exactly the style these lads favour. Had the position, just didn't have that extra two or three inches on the old wingspan. But I love these blade shots from the Belgians that fly almost like a backhand. Sandberg. Swinging to Ellen Amo and then the continuation to this near side. The lefty Hittinen faking. Sandberg underneath to Ellen Amo. Tommy Samber really running the show out there. Wicked, quick release. Nini, back to Hittonen. Hittonen, oh, I tell you what. Elon Amo tried his utmost to rescue that. Yep, just ending up with the uh, back of the hand rather than the palm under the disc. I tell you what, Belgians really pushing the fins under when they have defense to play. The live wire, Demarais. Descam. Demarais in the backfield. Very leisurely, like it's not a final at all. Demesmaker. Got Van den Broek as the reset. Captain of this D line. High release with the hammer over the top to Descam. Little short one to Demesmaker. He wants the offload. Doesn't see it though. Zwartz who can be such a dependable distributor when he needs to, but he can also have a little bit of the flair for the dramatic, lays out underneath, he sees Demaray in space. All he has to do is just flip it to him, and there's no spin on the push pass. Benjamin Schwartz, you silly, silly man. Nini, Sambury one-on-one against Demaray. Doesn't like the upline cut there, wants to be more 
calm, relaxed with it. There's a collision. I think maybe a pick in the center. You see Descan and Demesmaker up against Hittinen and El Nemo. Demere checks it in. And the wily Sambri just as cool as you like. Pops that over the top, and it's 3-1 Finland. I really hope that little celebration <laughs> that we just saw out of Elanimo do caught our camera. That was like, he did this weird toss up like a magnet almost to the top hand. Gravity defying trick stuff. I'm really enjoying the way the Finns are playing defense. They're switching, they're playing match coverage, but the communication and the level of talking, the chat you can hear from their sideline constantly throughout the game is really good because it's nullifying some of the athleticism of this Belgian side. Belgium starting the side stack and give Bonton space to work. A little bit of zoning coming from the Finns. Fella to Ben Yonkers, the chain. Swinging around his neck. It's a little bit offline. Bon Tomp! Varnanen thinks it was down. Bon Tomp thinks it was up. Well, sat right next to the sideline. That is a close call. We do have replays available for those that would like them. And we are indeed getting the VAR. And everyone seems pretty happy. And it was in, that was my gut instinct as well. And Sofia Bonton is, I have never seen a more instinctive player in the end zone. Just knows exactly when to move, when to go. And that one seemed like it might have been blocked, but Bonton loved the hustle, didn't refuse to give it up and was rewarded. Good timing indeed, perfection to reclaim that one. Bontemps with the enviable moustache from his comrades. You can hear how loud it is in here. Both sidelines very vocal. Kittonen, Samber. High one up, oh, Dimare steals it away! Pick pockets the knife. Just swiveling up through that inside channel, looked like that was a finish disc for sure, and they just comes through from the underneath and snags it down. Grass, beach, indoors, always got to keep an eye out for Demare. Van den Broek, wants the low release, no. Still count, ticking up there, squeezing it in to the end zone for the score. And Belgium bring us level. We are back on serve now at three apiece. Yeah, that's some nice patience from Corneille Descan. There was a reset available in the backspace. We get another look at that tasty D. But the vision, because there's two players that who, I don't know who it was that had the matchup of Corneille Descan, but wherever they were, just that, finding that little channel as that stall count starts to rise. That'll be Van den Broek's ninth assist of the tournament. No goals yet, though, but I'm not sure he minds as long as Belgium keep coming out on the winning side. Hotari coming over to play some offense now. One of the coaches of this side, along with Sivo, who's also in the backfield. Here's Sambara. Oh, they set up that isolation magnificently. And a Hotari had the freedom of the Baltics to bring it in for the score. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous opening up the channel with the inside flick. And then it's so easy, and we've seen it so many times in this championship of players, getting it in those power positions up lines and then launching it into the back wall. But that was really nicely weighted for a power shot that soared so high. Every score thrown by Finland's own line has come from the hand of Tommy Samber. Here's Ben Yonkers. Behin tries to chug his way underneath. He's got Bonson attacking. That one, oh, it's dangerous across through the field. Yonkers got there. And now plays the one-two, no. 
Ben wants the break and said, just simple one down the line. Behin not going back to Ben Yonkers, swinging it. Finn's filling into the end zone, trying to present the quick one in there. But Spapens nails it onto Ref Yonkers for the score, four apiece. A little discussion in the center of the pitch between what looks to be Yonkers and Leto. Not sure what that one's about. You can see what the plan is. Just don't force them to take those resets, take those passes, test the patience, the concentration. But you can't leave Ref Yonkers a gap anywhere near that big. There's only ever going to be one outcome. Sivo catching the pull. Samber. Elenemo taking off deep. Oh, the blade came out very vertical. I think Elenemo signals that, sorry, I should have continued in the direction. I changed the angle slightly. I'm not sure, you know. That seems like he was pretty much just cutting straight towards that end zone. Perhaps maybe in earlier games he's bounced more often and changed and attacked the disc under, but that didn't seem like he was making any shape on it at all. Six of one, half a dozen of the other, maybe. Van den Broek to Demarais. Trying to blade this down the sideline. I think Descan was worried about coming very close to the extra seating, and understandably so, there's not a lot of clearance on these fields. Welcome to indoors. Sivo to Samber. Back to Sivo. The two of them just playing it between one another now. Hittenen coming through. Change of angle with a left-handed throw a little bit behind. Not a problem for Alan Amo, though. He's seen all that before. And now they're running it through the veteran. Oh, into a dangerous area. Another miscommunication from the Finnish offense. And Van den Broek and Dimare were there for the double defense. Zwartz underneath, high rising. Good see him back on the field after he had a hefty collision with the bleachers over in the Prinai venue earlier this weekend. Van den Broek laying out, not leaving anything to chance. Dimare jigs out. Oh, Sambari flashes through and quickly accepts the foul. He saw the opportunity for the poach, po poach block. The disc and Dimare were too quick for him. I do not like that poach off from the front of the offensive pack. I do not like it, unless you know you can get it a second cleaner. Descan, Dimare down the line, no. Oh, Van den Broek wide open for his first goal of the weekend. And Belgium with their first lead of the final. 5-4 the advantage. Well, Finnish errors starting to bleed through into this first half. It seems, Benji, like they're trying to play on instinct. That kind of, I know where that player is going to go before they make the turn. So rather than releasing the disc as the player really commands and shows where they're going, they're trying to almost predict, be profits with the disc. And it's just really not working out for them. Belgium, do you like those low knifed pulls. The other is they want to get them to land just at the front of the end zone and roll through. But that one's a little bit offline and will be bricked. And the brick marks, have, re the mark. Sorry, go brick ahead. marks have reappeared. They were absent in the bronze medal matches. Samber. Hotari. Two of them in the backfield. Elenemo underneath. Elenemo with the blade and Hotari. Couldn't quite get it. Just pushed the margins a little bit too much there, the Finns. Nearly some incredible footwork there, but just a bit too much juice. Belgium try and put the hammer down now. That one caught Dimesmaker, I think, rather than the other way around. Ref Yonkers playing some defense, slinging the hammer to Dimaray. 6 4. Belgium. Beginning to really get into their groove. And Vorio wants the Finns to take a timeout, and they will. Both sides get one one minute timeout each game. You've got to take it between points, and you cannot take it within the five minutes before the time cap comes on. But for the Finns, you've conceded three on the bounce now. I totally understand wanting to get a breather. Just talk yourselves out of that funk. Absolutely. At the moment, it is the Belgians raising the temperature in this game that 
it almost looked like, I, can't, I forget who it was from Belgium, they were faking so hard, it's almost like they were going to rip the disc out of their own palm. But until it reached Ref Jonkers, everything was frenetic, everything was frantic, and that energy that the Belgians are bringing is starting to rock the fins around. We saw that disc just maybe two inches too high, too far out to be brought in contention. The foot was in the back, but just straddling out of bounds. But the Finns are in with a chance here. They're still communicating. They're still talking. I really like the style of defense they're trying to play against the Belgians, not trying to run for them foot for it's foot the whole proactive. time. It's very proactive. Yeah, it's trying to actively take things away. And I love the chat, but at the moment, the Belgians are really just throwing, like, what, like a flamethrower. And that's what they're putting into this game. And it's working out for them. They're riding that energy. Another ball that lands short will be brought in from the brick mark. Sivo wanted the break backhanded Nini, and there's a bit of a bump on the mark from Dan Demare, which is ex quickly accepted. And easy as that. If Samba is not going to throw the scores, well, he can catch them instead as well, adding a goal to his earlier three assists. This time it's Elenemo with the delivery. They're flipping that script. 5-6. Yeah, I like that. There was a little bit of hesitation, maybe not, you know, moving the disc as quickly as they could have from the Finns, but that's the nice way to see them slow down the pace of the game, get a nice stoic hold, keep things simple, not try too hard, and then finishing it off with just a flat backhand into that near side of the end zone. That's really just nice. Well, we've seen a lot already this game and this weekend. The ultimate is a game of fine margins. Those margins often even finer indoors where there's so much less space, but that's a lovely leading pass to Spappens and Bontom catching it in the end zone. There. It's, it's just magnetized towards him whenever it gets into that red zone. Belgium seven, Finland five, the current score. I love this just flowing, pacey. It's still simplicity. A little bit wonky on that last release. Something to perhaps work on because he's throwing almost in stride, not really setting a pivot point is Spappens, but it works out. Yeah, it's about keeping the disc moving quickly, not giving the defense a chance to set, keeping the stall count low. And as a result, as you mentioned, he yeah, delivers the disc a little bit behind Bon Tom, but that's, that's bread and butter for the Belgian. He'll catch those all day. Sandberg quickly dishing off to Sivo. Sivo faking the overhead. And using that throw and go to access that inside out channel. See Ref Yonkers poaching in there, but they're able to split. That gap, Van den Broek bids. Sivo to Samber. Sivo again, looking for the blades to Ellen Amo. Bang on the money, 7-6. Yep, yeah, I like that Get from Fella, identifying how close you're getting to the concrete wall of the stands on the other side. And just giving up the goat a little bit. There's some nice creative window finding, exactly that shot. It was really great stuff there from Sivo. Just looking around and choosing the right opportunities. And then a good curve on the finish there. But again, that the finish just seemed a lot more stable. A, the Belgians are a volatile, explosive gas right now. I love it, I'm here for it, but it Spapens makes me nervous. Catching the ball with not the hand I would have put on top. Ben Yonkers looking around, pump faking the underneath, going back to ref. He rips this one to Bon Tom. He's called out by the Finnish defender, Varnanen. Ooh, that's a really close call, Benji. We don't get it from the low angle because the uh, scaffold is, is very unhelpfully in the way. A frame by frame might give us some extra information, but we'll have to ask for it. But this is what I'm talking about. The Belgian offense is making me very nervous. 
it's pushing the margins, isn't it? I think even on the replay, it's tight enough that contesting it and sending it back, I'm fine with this. Some of the crowd aren't, and Ref Yonkers, I think, was one, wanting to boo them back. We did say that the margins are even finer indoors. Still coming in on two. The bespectacled Vario on the mark. Wanting the high release, no, little push off. Ben Yonkers with a tight mark. Hammer to his brother, I don't think he's gonna be in the end zone yet. Shrugs off the contact, saying no. Just watch it, oh! What happened there? Sophie M. Bontom cleared out and bailed, and Vorio will collect for the Finns to break. We are level again, seven apiece. I can't believe it. I literally can't believe it. My good, well, we sort of talked about how nervous we are with the style and pace. Well, I say we are, I, I said I am. No, I, me too. And then that just bizarre scene happens. I know that the Belgians can go and get a block. They're more than capable of stealing the disc back off the fins, but at the moment, goodness gracious me, strange things occurring and we love to see it. Nini just came by the booth and said, what do we think about the in-out call? To which I politely shrugged. <laughs> I still don't know. <laughs> Yonkers, from one to another. Bahin wants Bontoms to come underneath. As the ref goes back to Ben, they've got the swing available. Oh, Bontom nearly bailed on that one as well, but he recognized and adjusted in time. Here's a cross, ref Yonkers. Got the one-on-one, -on -one and the face mark is punished. Petrikas just had no idea where the disc was, and all Bahin had to do was stick out the arm and watch it nestle in there. 8-7. Well, remaining fiery and confident, throwing the big shots. You can see there, that's just the turn of the hips to stay close, but closes the wrong way. Petrikas maybe should have turned when he should have shuffled. You maybe could have done with a little bit of more audio assistance from the sideline. Sivo. High to Sandberg. Sandberg rips this one to Nini. Barely a window there, but he found it. Eight apiece. Galaxy point, everybody. Now that is what I call threading the needle and we are sewing up this first half with indeed, as you say, Benji, Galaxy action. So those of you who are somehow unfamiliar with Galaxy Point, it's all right, we'll let you off. Universe Point is sudden death to win. Galaxy Point, well, it's like Universe Point, just slightly smaller. Sudden death to take half. Belgium can hold here. It's so crucial because you get the old two for none. You get two possessions back to back with the Belgians receiving to begin the second half without the Finns having one. Here we go. Receiving the pull. They've crossed Dimare over to play some offense. I think the Belgians sense how important it is to take this break into the second half. Skyscraping grab. Oh, a hefty collision there. Deleuze bangs the ground with his fist in frustration. Just a mass of humanity converging underneath it. I think it's, I think he gets Maybe Ben Yonkers maybe makes the most contact, although Nini's in there as well. Spappens comes on as the replacement and collects that floaty push pass. Swinging to Ref Yonkers. You can see how tight the coverage is, utilizing the wingspan well. Nini pointing the spot where Ben Yonkers needs to set his foot. Dimare. I love the push passes, and so do the Belgians at the moment. Pick called. As Dimare was coming through, Hotari not able to keep up with him. Spappens, he was like, yep, we can go for the hammer, but instead he's just going to put it back in the toolbox. Belgians just knowing the importance of the break, being more circumspect with it. Demare, Yonkers on the sideline, 
peeling off, and how does he do it? Bon Tom just stands there and waits and picks his moment, and eventually he's all alone, and Belgium will take a 9-8 half-time lead. There are a couple of moments in that last possession for Belgium, Benji, where they had one player just stood in between a sandwich of fins that was quite far away, and neither defender probably would have had a play on the disc if they'd just thrown that. And there it happens probably the third time, I think, in that point. But well identified, you know, look it off the first couple of times and then just spice it straight in. Talked about how instinctive he is in the end zone, and you saw it there. Belgium with a 9-8 half-time lead. While the two sides make their half-time adjustments, we're going to do the same here in the booth. Don't you dare go anywhere, because the second half of the Open final is on the other side. Welcome back to the European Ultimate Indoor Championships here in Lithuania. A multitude of venues across Konas, the second biggest city in the country. And we've been streaming action all weekend from, among others, Garlival, where we are today for the finals. The penultimate game of the tournament is this open final. Belgium taking a 9-8 half-time lead and receiving to begin the second half. Benji Rees back in the booth with Hannah Pendlebury. Any predictions? At the moment, I do favour the Belgians because they just have that extra little bit of fire and attack. But it's whether they can control it. It's like being on the end of a fire hose. I must admit, I'm going to keep my position nice and square on the fence here. Oh, that's not allowed. The Belgian offence looking very cluttered, I have to say. Behind checks in. Down the sideline to Yonkers. Oh, he's going for the blade. I'm not sure whether the Finnish defender was expecting it, but Hatari was a step or two behind. Not expecting the blade? Not expecting the blade when you're playing against the Belgians? Oh, that's silly. Well, it's the lead pass, isn't it? You are quite tight to the sideline, but that's... I mean, for the Belgians, I guess it's not really that tight. And to be fair to the Finns, they often, you'll see them throwing in throwing those, shorts of, those sorts of shots as well. My mouth is getting ahead of my brain. That's how excited I am. Well, not only do you see them throwing those shots when there's no wind, i.e. indoors, but you see them outdoors as well. Samber, oh, tried to sneak it in there. To Nini, Demarey comes up clutch with another block. This one nowhere near as impressive as his snatch in the first half, but it all counts the same, and Samba had his head in his hands afterwards. Couldn't believe he'd thrown that junk. Nini's down. There's the call for ice. That was a big block, knee-to-knee -knee collision in the center of the pitch. He is not in a good way. Well, thank you very much to our medical staff who have been sat poised on the sidelines, of course, one pitch at each venue. So they've had their eyes glued to the action and immediately running on, applying cooling spray and support. And we're going to stop the clock. Yeah, I think just to make sure that Nini takes all the time he needs. You never want to feel like you have to rush someone off the pitch, especially with the compressed time in indoor games. 
Well, when we had a, a clattering of the disc on the apparatus on the sideline, we said welcome to indoors. One of the other unfortunate things about this surface is that the injuries do have a tendency to be a touch more brutal. The pace and the intensity of the change of direction and movement on the smaller pitch size, but also the fact that the unforgiving nature of every single surface you can hit into. But we saw a big knee injury in the Dutch women's semi-final. One of the Leininger sisters going down and it actually really did fire up the rest of the team to go on. So hopefully any sort of mental impact this has is the right kind. Yeah, Annie Kleinanger was on the sidelines earlier with crutches. So I didn't hear what the full extent of that injury is. As you can see here that Nini is having to be helped off the field. There's already ice on that knee. Obviously, thoughts at the moment, just want to make sure that he's okay. But I think for this final, he's probably done. Well, with such a long playing career, ultimate athletes do have a nasty tendency to play through injuries, but as you say, it's not worth it at this point if you can't give 100% in a gold medal match. Staying on the sideline and giving that communication is all important. Here's Yonkers tight to this sideline right in front of us. Going back to Demare. Bontom with a skyscraping hammer. And Ref Yonkers comes above the pack to make it 11-8. Who says tall boys can't jump? Sorry? Who says tall boys can't jump? I mean, certainly not me. I've seen, I've seen enough frisbee to know that that's not necessarily true. As Ref Yonkers, with a couple of defenders in front of him, just gets up early, gets over the top, and does not give the Finnish defenders a chance. That's a break now for the Belgians, and when you factor in the one before half as well, that's three on the spin now for the boys in black. Hotari, Finnish offense going to have to adjust without one of their star players. Very loud sideline here in Gullivar. Wanting the hammer, showing it and nailing it. Vanunen to Hutanen. Makes it 9-11. Jano Sivo was very upset that he was being looked off and wide open, but that will do very nicely. I really am enjoying the backhand lead passes that the Finns are throwing to each other on these cuts as we get another look at that big score over the top, just into the perfect pocket. It's the one-on-one -on -one in the end zone. Demesmaker, I think, just maybe cheating a little bit towards the break side because he's expecting that shot. And when that happens, if you overcommit and it doesn't go, Hittenen had the open side available. Floating pool fielded at the back of the end zone by Delace. Here's Ref Yonkers to Ben. Bonton. Junkers, I think, is unhappy that he slipped, not for the first time, on the floor in pretty much the same place. Although I hadn't seen what might cause that as Bonton sneaks through again, quite appropriately, for a man named Bonton. He has got excellent timing in the end zone. I was wondering when you were going to make that pun, Benji. It's just irresistible. But I'm loving this commitment to the throw, to that low release all the way around the mark. Spappen's just losing his balance, but clutching enough of it to release the disc perfectly. And again, finding just that little extra half a metre to put the disc into with a perfect clockwork timing. Zwartz with the pull. Fielded by Sivo, faking the swing. Sambari cuts, drives underneath. Hotari, the two number 10s against each other, being marked by Demare. Pump faking into the end zone. Back to Samber. Oh, beautiful. Arcing right into the chest of Antti Elonemo. That's now four goals 
for the number 80 of Finland, and it's 12-10. Well, we're returning to the A game of the Finns, their initial preferred looks. And it is solid, this Finnish offence. But they need to find something to cause some confusion and slow down the Belgians. They're really, the pace at the moment on their offense is just so good. It's like a knife. <laughs> well, talk about confusion. That worked. Look, the commentator's curse isn't a thing, but if you believe it, there's more evidence for you there. And the Finns are more than happy to capitalize on the miscue. At the opener to this half, it said it was all about controlling the pace that they have, the Belgians, just keeping the fire nozzle pointing the correct direction, and that one just directly in the face. But heck, if you give the Finns a disc like that, they're going to ruin you for it. And you could see that they sensed their opportunity because they didn't hang around. They were like, OK, while they're maybe frustrated, while they're looking away, let's go. Let's, let's punish this. Ben Young goes across, Atari tries to get the block, but doesn't. Ref sees Demare deep, defenders closing in, trying to recover. Demare brings it down, Ben Young is wanting it on the move, faking that little pen knife over the top. And Ref, oh, it's tailing away from Bonton, but as we've, so, as we've seen, maybe the, sure, the surest handed man in Lithuania at the moment is Sophie M. Bonton, 13-11. Well, a timeout called, and I like that as an option. And you said the recovery there, the sort of attempt at that poach on the underneath, which was a slightly loose, lofty backhand, not as pacey as many of the Belgian discs thus far. The recovery actually from the Finnish defense was fantastic. Obviously, they got perhaps a little bit lucky that the execution on that over-the-top throw, I believe, to Damara, wasn't quite in the end zone. That could easily have just been a straight route one score. But a nice opportunity for the Belgians to maybe run down a tiny bit of clock, take away some of the time for the Finns to get another break in this game, but also just, just to screw their heads back on. Bontom just trying to stretch himself out in that Belgian huddle. What do you think, Coach Bilal, who is quote unquote the little guy on the sidelines, although currently in the pitch, what do you think he's telling them? Because knowing Belgium, I can't imagine it's let's play let's play safe conservative <laughs> ultimate. Well, it's not like they need any more confidence. They don't need anything extra in terms of knowing they've got this. It's just a case of all right, remember the plan. Because I think the Belgians will want to take this with a bigger margin to really stamp their presence. I think like, that's, their, that's the style they're playing. The, the ideal situation for Belgium is to get a couple of breaks here and thus not give the Finns the chance to get the cap. Exactly. Sivo over the top. San lights. Heatonen really utilizing his reach. San but there's no one beyond him. Heatonen. Elenomo to Hatari. Hatari flipping the grip to the scuba. Tried to be undercut by Zwartz, but he didn't get there. And Samber will just calm continuation into Hitonen for his second goal of the game. And Finland back within one at 13-12. Is that six assists now for Samber along with a score? That's not bad. <laughs> That's not bad at all. And I really like that finish offense. A little bit different of a show, using a bit more of their big lads, some creativity, rather than just the sort of nibbling away at the yards between them and the end zone that we've seen in previous points, those kind of grindy, really long, just reset, reset, reset style. But they're going to have to do something magical now. Bonson with the disc in his hands. Right in front of us, gets it off on stool seven. Delays to ref Yonkers, wide open underneath is Benoit Behin. Sophie and Bontom is an inevitability in the end zone. Six goals for him now, and it's 14 12. Well, a fantastic first sort of 15 seconds or so of defense from the Finns. Like you say, that was released on seven and changed that reset before. The up line, 
Just simple stuff at the end, just open side cuts. Given that Bonton is Brussels born and bred, Brussels, Brussels born, born and bred, and plays for moon catchers, what do you think his career highlight is? Oh, probably beating Sokai, isn't it? Yes, that's exactly what it is. Yeah, no surprises. I've been so impressed. Maybe the breakout star of this tournament for me is Bonton. Samber. Hits an in low, but finds Sivo. They've got the one-on-one -on -one Hitari against Dimare. But there is some contact in that offensive end zone, and it's going to result in a foul call. Well, with three seconds and change left on the clock, I'm not surprised to see things getting a little bit testy. So just under three minutes by the clock here in the hall until the cap comes on. You would normally have this nearly wrapped up, but remember we had the stoppage because of the injury to Nini, who is still on the sidelines. I think his day is very much done. As just snuck round the side of Dimare did Hatari. He's so sticky as a defender, but that's no mean feat. But I think just catches him flat-footed, and that's not an opportunity that Jano Sivo was keen to put up to pass up even, excuse me, Atari catches to make it 14-13. Well, that's fundamentals gone wrong on defence, as you say, not being ready for the dis to be checked back in. You can't have your heels on the floor. You've got to be on it, ready to move your body around in the way and stop that just straight, direct churn to the open side. But a nice hold for the Finns. Ben Yonkers sees the poach on Delace. Now Bonton. Scubering over the top, plenty of time for Ref Yonkers to adjust. Gives the, just the little tilt of the head to his brother Ben and then blades across to Benoit Spappens. Spappens, Delace now. You can see what Vorio is doing on the mark, trying to keep those hands high, but it allows the around break for a little scooped one from Ben Yonkers to Bonton. And that is about as easy a goal as the Yonkers brothers will score all weekend. Just, what, a metre maybe between the two of them? The calmest of popped passes makes it 15-13. Yeah, you can see the swipe after some excellent just space, more poachy, zony style defense, trying to slow things down, making the Belgians think, which I think is a good idea. Make the Belgians think a little bit more because sometimes when they've had the time to think, they've thrown it at the floor. Flying through there is Van den Broek. Doesn't get it, but he did really well to make such an attempt without contacting. And uh, it is Elon Amo. Hittinen going back to Sivo. Now Samber. Wide open Hatari in the backfield. I think he's seen the shot to Sivo. He likes it. He loves it as he just lays it up in there. 15 14. Cap is due to go on any second now. 10 seconds. So we'll finish the next point and add one. So we'll either got 15 15, game to 16, or 16 14 game to 17 and both sides have played close games this weekend and we're in for another here well like it love it adore it that hammer over the top is beautiful i have to say benji we're bypasses in here in the booth we just want to get more exciting scenes here so i'd love to see the given Finns that there's been 29 points scored only three possessions this game have gone into the double figures for number of passes. It's being played at a lightning quick place. Compare that to the Swedish women's team in the women's final, where they just, they move the disc around, but always those, they just calmly, steadily matriculate it. Oh no, these lads back themselves for the big shots. Behin, Ref Jonkers going high for brother Ben. 16-14, Belgium lead, one point away from gold. It's game to 17 here in Lithuania. Well, that was pretty simple, pretty fast, devastating. And now it's, I have to say, I'm not changing my mind, Benji. They're very much in the box seat, the Belgians, aren't they? 
and they're still gunning for it. They really want to take this game. They just don't want to receive it. They're not going to wait until they're coming out on offense. They're going to try and fly through the air, do all sorts of craziness. Let's see if they can get it with their D-line. Sivo with the high hammer, and it hits the curtain over the middle of the field in the rafters. Cruel from a finish perspective. Descan will pick up. This could be the game. Begins by swinging to Dimare and now Van den Broek. Van den Broek with the jack to Bontom! And Sophie M. Bontom caps an electric championships for Belgium with the gold medal grab. Belgium 17, Finland 14 final score. Commiserations to the Finns, but congratulations to Belgium, the first European ultimate indoor champions. My. Bon ton, man. Sophie and Bon ton. What a player. Man of the match, Benji. You I, really do have to say so it. So good. Like, just so consistent, so patient, snagging the disc wherever the Belgians threw it at him. And my favourite part about that, almost apart from the catch, because it was incredible, was the turn to Jano Sivo to say, really great game immediately. Sivo obviously disappointed walking away from him, but... Yeah. What a class finish from and the, the Belgian. The shot there, you saw what it means as Bontom immediately sunk to his knees and roared to the heavens. Just got big contributions from their big players. We've talked about Bontom. Three blocks and a couple of goals for Dimare. Ref Yonkers, how's this for a stat line? For one turnover, but you allow that when you throw seven assists and score three goals yourself. Sambari played brilliantly for the Finns. You do wonder if that injury to Nini just maybe took a little bit of steam away from them. And obviously we hope that nothing too serious there. But what a way to cap an outstanding open division here in Lithuania. I think you pretty much said it all, Benji. I love how stable the Finns were throughout their game, almost stoic at times, but the... Thank you.